seen that. <laughs> we just finished the Alien franchise. Um, me and Taylor watched the entire thing. Aaron is here with us. And we are going to rank all eight movies, including Alien vs. Predator 1 and 2, in what we found worst to best. So, Taylor, what is your worst Alien movie? Well, obviously the worst is the unanimous Alien vs. Yeah. Predator 2. Yeah. It's it's so bad. It's so stupid. It's so pointless. I It was like watching two really bad movies that they just spliced together <laughs> into one yeah. awful, awful hybrid movie. Yeah. So no, that's the worst one. It is it is terrible. I don't, I, there, I've said everything I have to say about that movie. I think in the podcast I compared it to if Lifetime and Sci-Fi had a baby, it would be Alien vs. Yeah, Predator 2. It would. Um, it's 100%. Yeah. But Alien vs. Predator 2 has a 4.7 on IMDb, giving it the 8th slot. Okay. Well, perfect. Yeah. So that's the worst, according to IMDb. Number uh, 7, Taylor. Uh, this is going to be AVP, Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> All right. Same. This one was yeah. only marginally better than Requiem or whatever it's called. Yeah. Because it was just nonsensical. Yeah. See, I'm I'm gonna throw a curveball in here. I'm gonna say okay. Alien Resurrection is worse than AVP one. Okay, Resurrection was when she comes back. It's number four when she comes four, back okay. as the clone. Nah, you're wrong. No, that last alien, the the white albino <laughs> alien it was, baby. No, don't get me wrong. That was nauseating, <laughs> but it was still not as bad as Alien vs. Predator. Do I, do I get to throw in my two cents as sure. well? Yeah. I will have to veto Taylor and say I really thought the Alien Resurrection was the second worst alien movie of all time. Yeah, it's Ooh. so bad. It's not even my third worst. <laughs> Well, your list oh, is really wrong. the bringing Ripley back as uh, a clone it was so stupid. Just everything about that it was movie. So cool seeing her play basketball. <laughs> she was so good. <laughs> the uh, whole thing. Uh, Hercules says kittens. Thank you for that, sir. Um, the it says kittens. <laughs> yep, yeah, says kittens. Uh, okay, cool. Alien Resurrection is just awful every step of the way the characters are terrible they even had decent actors and they were all bad um nothing about it made sense and i can't remember was this the beginning of the mercy killing with fire because that is a horrible trope no i think it was i mean i guess if you count alien three when she jumps into the fire herself but you know, they burn people alive. I feel like there was another instance. Maybe. I don't remember though. It, it, it happened in Aliens. Where they burn someone with a flamethrower as a mercy yeah. kill? I believe so, yes. Because it starts happening in every movie. Every movie, somebody yeah. gets torched as a way to put them down out of their misery so the alien doesn't burst <laughs> out. And I got to be honest, I would think I would choose the alien. Yeah, just let this thing burst, please. Yeah. yeah. She when she went down the escalator at the end of Aliens when she came across the dude that was asking her to kill him. I want to say she set everything in the in the room on fire. Which made the alien he, he, mom really mad. He died first. The it burst out of his chest. When okay. he, he's trapped in the uh the um the goo Whatever on the was. wall. Yeah. Yeah. He dies first. Cause I was like, Oh, they're going to actually let her murder someone. And then she doesn't, he dies. And then she sets everything on fire. Okay. Yeah. That's, maybe that's what I was thinking of. And then there's another one where they, the woman, the woman it happens to, um, and it's a, someone they don't know. And they're like watching and the, the alien bursts out of its chest and then they set her on fire and are they shoot her something one of them and uh i was like man maybe give her an extra beat to know if she's alive or not before you you know yeah. you just brutalize her but anyways so alien resurrection has a 6.2 uh, according to imdb which would have given it the number six spot 
Alien vs. Predator 1 has a 5.6, which would have given it a number 7. So Taylor, you are consistent with IMDb. I am flip-flopped. What is your number okay. 6 movie? So my number 6 is actually... Uh, I don't know. I just wrote Alien 2 because I don't remember what Aliens. that one's called. Is it? I just play Alien. That one I thought was worse than Resurrection. Wow. Okay. I... I don't know if maybe it's because I thought it would be a little better because it had like Bill Paxton in it. No. <laughs> Jeez, he bugged me so much in that movie. Oh, I hated it. Good news, Taylor. He's also in Predator too. <laughs> it's true. As the same guy? Basically. Probably. Yeah. Oh, well, this is good news <laughs> because now I know I definitely won't be watching. <laughs> Saved a lot of time. Yeah. No, this one I just this one the characters were so bothersome. I don't I honestly I don't even remember who else is in this one. Who else is in this one besides Paxton? Uh this Michael is B. Gordon Weaver. Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser. Right, that's right. Yeah. Oh, you got the guy Paul Reiser. I, Bishop. You got yeah. the dirt. He was the girl. only redeemable character. Newt. 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 Oh, she was garbage. <laughs> Glad she died. <laughs> uh but yeah that's that's my number seven yeah six mine is alien versus predator the first right. one and uh it's just it's just okay. it's it's i it, it's hard to say it's better than alien resurrection for me it's just not as bad do you know what i mean yeah like i mean i can see why you would think that it's the I w- it I don't know I'm it like it leaves me speechless. It's just so so terrible. But some of like the concept is cooler than Alien Resurrection, and that's kind of what tips it for me. You know, tips the scales to to swap the order because having the alien and the Hard predator cat. fight is a cool thing. A couple of the fight scenes in Alien versus Predator are cool, but you know the story is garbage. But it's not as garbage yeah. as Alien Resurrection. But uh, Taylor, Aliens got an 8.4 on IMDb, giving really? it the number two slot. And, really? Yeah. Alien vs. Predator should I have been. I bet it's because of Paxton. <laughs> uh, uh, game over, man. Game over, man. Game over. Uh, number five. I thought I would like that, and I hated that line the most. Oof, yeah, it's terrible. I hated the delivery of it. No. I don't. Ugh. Yeah, I don't. I'm done. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it ever again. Number five. Just talking about it. Number five is where I would put Alien Resurrection. Okay, what do you think of that one? Um, it was to me, it was just a small tick better than Aliens, uh-huh. but it was also a lot gross. It was it was like the grossest one to me. It like it was so unsettling. So slimy. all the the different so <laughs> just gobs and gobs of goo. <laughs> I I hated all the the weird variations of of uh, Sigourney Rippling. Weaver yeah. slash alien like a weird experiments from the island of Doctor Moreau. Yeah, it was just so gross. And then like that, she was number eight, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, number eight. So it was like number seven was like the worst, the one that she burns alive. Yeah, as the mercy. Yeah, that was one of the most disturbing things that I've ever seen. <laughs> and it was actually, I'm pretty sure it was my motivation of making you watch the movie Tusk. <laughs> okay. I still need to watch that. I have, yes, you do. I have two movies. Oh, I, I can't watch. wait for you to watch that movie. Oh, I know it's going to be terrible. My number five is aliens. Um, okay. And it was just that my issue with number five was it was as boring as number one. But they're like, let's do more of what was boring. Let's do it bigger and longer yeah. and make less sense. And less and less sense. A- Aliens was such a disappointment because I always thought people hold these to such high regard that I have no idea why. I don't know either. I expected it to be like really good. And, you know, even if it was, you know, kind of old, I could get over that. But yeah. It sounds like someone's murdering my kid in the background. Probably. I think she's involved with the Alien vs. Predator movie. She <laughs> watch for chest bursters. So. Yeah, I'll be careful. Give her a second. 
All right. Hopefully she's done. It's probably something dumb did you just, too. Did you just text your daughter and be like, "Hey, could you not?" Hey, knock it off. Um, but yeah, no, I expected Aliens to be really good. You know, I went in way too high really of good. expectations. I shouldn't have, especially after seeing the first one, knowing that's so highly regarded. Um, yeah. But I was just so disappointed in it, and it was just so boring. And having more aliens didn't make the movie better. Having more nope. soldiers didn't make the movie better. And they, of none of them had any character development. None of them had any personality. And I still kind of think Ripley was a Mary Sue in Alien 2. Because in the first one, she's just a, you know, a... Um, what, Scientist, like, really. Right? Well, it was like, like an, an inventory explorer. manager. Like she wasn't yeah. anything... Anything, special. anything special, and she survives. Like Sigourney Weaver in real life, purely special. She survives purely on luck, and she survives because other people die in front of her. She doesn't really yeah. do anything to survive, and then in the end, she. I bet she wasn't even that good at basketball to begin with. <laughs> yeah, probably not. And then in this one, she's like everyone treats her in such high regard in her opinions, but she still doesn't do anything other than the loader and that really i don't know that uh, that could have been so much better yeah but anyway so that's aliens aliens has a 8.4 which was number two and we've already talked about resurrection which was should have been number six number four taylor number four is where i'm gonna put prometheus okay um like, like i said before it's visually better yeah the acting's a little better but it's still so boring. Yeah. So extremely boring. Michael Fassbender was good. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just, it, I didn't care. Did you die? I'm still here. Oh, yeah. He just stopped talking, right? He was so angry with it that he just stopped. <laughs> I think his heart stopped, maybe. He just, I was so <laughs> angry with it. <laughs> And he's just dead. That'd be a sad way to for this to all actually happen. If he did have a heart attack and we're just making fun of him for it. I don't know who he is, so it wouldn't bother me. Yeah. Eh, it's all right. Let's see. We'll <laughs> give him a second. But uh, right. to say, what it, to go along with what he was saying, I would give number four to Prometheus also. I think uh, it's better than the other four. Aliens, Alien vs. Predator Resurrection, and Alien vs. Predator 2. But there's so many plot holes in it that without Covenant, it's just just madness. There's just nothing to really grab onto and hold on to. You get Covenant later on, and it fills in a lot of those gaps and it answers a lot of the questions. So without Covenant, it's but did terrible. It, it, but did it really, though? It, it fills it in. It fixes it a little bit. It doesn't make it better. Well, it does make it better because it answers the questions, but it doesn't like solve anything. Um, I did like, I like the idea that it's a secret alien movie that you wouldn't know until the very end that it's an alien movie. Um, and that was kind of the whole lore of it when it came out. It was like it shocked people that it was an alien movie. But it, not if you did any sort of research on it. You knew that it was an alien movie going into it. Yeah, no, I know. If you're if you're familiar with the series, you know exactly what it is with the snake being like the face hugger type thing, and then you know the chest bursters. Even though I don't know, and you get you get another flamethrower mercy kill in Prometheus. The guy's like dying, and they're like, "You can't get back on the ship." And uh, what's her name? Uh, from <laughs> Fast and Furious 8 is the only thing I can think of her. That's also Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, Charlize Theron comes out and she's like, yeah, you can't come back on. And so they just flame throw him. And they all have right. guns. Someone could have just shot him right in the head, but they have to put him on fire. And uh, it's not a way. It's not a mercy kill. It's like, all right, well, you're dying. Let me torture you into your last moments. Like, let's make this as difficult as possible. Well, I can I can tell you if you want me to catch my list up with yours. Sure. And till t- see if Taylor makes his way back on here. So I I think we all agree that AVP two. Yes. 
was the number number eight. Then I have Resurrection as number seven. Yeah. I have AVP one as number six. Yeah. I have I have Alien three, and number four I have Prometheus. Okay. Why do you not like Alien three? What's What's Alien three? Alien three for me was just it was complete. It was awful. I, yeah. I didn't. I, the story I thought was dumb, and uh, you know, they you know they weren't looking bigger picture. So yeah. and and that's why Ripley jumped into the into the lava at the end. But it was just it was so interesting with the fact that like you know the aliens inside of her. I, I just I just yeah. didn't like the yeah I, I didn't, didn't like, like the I didn't like that part either. I didn't like the whole how she was protected because she had the queen inside of her and all yeah. that. Like that was dumb. Um, right. But yeah, so Prometheus for me is number four also, which I think you just said, right? Uh, so that right. got a 7.0, which would have given it the number three slot. But my number okay. three is Alien, the original. Okay. And to me, it is, it's better because it's an entry point and it's a lot of the things like the pacing issues and some of the technical issues are all a product of the time, but right. it is so boring to watch. Like it is not a fun one. And you like all the characters are kind of cardboard cutouts of these tropes and they just don't feel, they don't feel lived in, you know, they don't feel like they have a life outside of this movie. They just feel like right. they only exist in this moment and that's it. And I, I just, it drives me crazy when that happens. Now, number three on my list was Covenant. Okay. And and uh, I just, I mean, to me, it, Covenant was, was better than Prometheus just because it tried to fix the problems with Prometheus. Yeah. I, you know, my favorite thing about Prometheus Ooh. and Covenant. Oh, there he is. He's back. He's, oh, now you can well, my favorite, I thought my you favorite thing about this whole time about Prometheus and Covenant was uh, Michael Fassbender. Yeah, Michael Fassbender is fantastic. He's he's great in everything. I don't yeah. think I've seen anything in him him in bad. Ugh, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, Taylor, number four is Prometheus. Oh. What is your number three, sir? Okay, uh, my number three was the first Alien. Okay, I assume probably the same reason. That, mine, yeah. What was your reasoning? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was an interesting concept. They just didn't go anywhere with it. And it's not that it's a good movie. It's just better than this other garbage that they put out afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but Aaron put uh, Alien 3 in his number five slot. I heard that and I was not happy about it. <laughs> well, you, you do like movies with three in them. You were a huge fan of X3. You did say it was the greatest movie ever. So did I say I just that? Assumed. You did. Well, you I said it was did. better than number two. <laughs> Aaron has been very oh, salty towards you. Too, I <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't want to throw the conversation. No, off no, you're direction. good. No, you're all good. Cause you've seen them all. That's why we cut Taylor out of predators. Cause he hadn't seen any of them. So, but yeah, feel free. Uh, you yeah. said n- number three was covenant for you. Taylor, me and you agree on alien alien one yeah. got an 8.5, which according yeah. to IMDb makes it number okay. one, the best rated. Really? And that doesn't surprise me. Covenant got a 6.4, which would put it in the number four slot, tied for four and five. Really? Yeah. Huh. What, what is your guys' second uh, favorite alien movie? So my second is Covenant. Okay. Um, my number two is the original Alien. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean... None of the there's no clear front front runner. Mm-hmm. I mean, you kind of just have to decide. Like, was there at least one scene that you liked? That's kind of how I base it. <laughs> yeah, um, Covenant was. I, I thought it had the best cast and characters. Like they were the most interesting. I know we've talked about that before, but I liked that. Um, the the two Michael Fassbenders was interesting, but uh, although it was predictable, yeah, right. Um, I mean, nothing really good happens, but I, I liked uh, Danny McBride. 
Wait, was that one? Was that Covenant yeah, or was yeah. that? Yeah, that was Dead Prometheus. No, I don't remember Covenant. anymore. That was Covenant. Prometheus, yeah, everyone okay. so lands that's, uh, that's on. It. Yeah, and Prometheus, everybody lands on the world on the the mm-hmm. planet. Covenant, they split up. Okay, that's what, right. What puts Alien in your number two slot, Aaron? So Alien, <clears throat> the reason why it's in my number two spot is because it is the entry into the world. Um, it establishes what the alien is, what it does, and uh, you know, um, again, it's it's for for its time. It was it was kind of like even though I wasn't even alive when it came out, you just know that it was groundbreaking because of the fact it took place in space. It was a horror movie, and uh, you know, the level of gore is something that a mainstream movie really kind of hit on, yeah. and um, and you know. It was, you know, it, it is a little slow, but you still get the the tension uh, that the director was going for in the original. Yeah, yeah. I don't. So I don't mind like slow movies. Super, like it doesn't bother me a lot to have it slow, but I like for when it pays off. Like Rogue One, it's got to pay off. The first half of that movie oh. is terribly slow. It's like puts you to sleep slow. But then it did put me to sleep in the theater. <laughs> once it yeah, starts taking short. off, <laughs> once it starts taking off, it really starts taking off. And alien, it gets like a solid foot off the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alien That's how I feel about it. is really slow, and then it has these peaks, and it drops yeah. back down to slow moments instead of like slow, 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 and then taking off and going like really fast the rest of the time. It just goes like. It has spikes of intense and it just like, it throws me off too much. But my number two is actually Alien 3. I think this was my favorite until the, my number one. But uh, Alien 3, I think has the best characters. I think they're yeah, the, it the setup with them being in prison, them having all their backstory, like, to me, like I was saying, for aliens, where they no one felt, or for alien, no one felt like they existed outside of those those moments. Alien Three, I thought, did a really good job of establishing everything else, everyone else. Like you felt like, oh, these people actually exist. There's a hierarchy. There's a world. There's rules. People are used to certain things, and Ripley comes into it being completely lost. Now it definitely ends dumb with Wayland uh, technology showing up, trying to get the alien out of her, her jumping into the lava, all that stuff is stupid. But the characters, I think, are the strongest in the series. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number one. What is your guys' number one? So my number one is going to be Aliens 3. Okay. And pretty much for the same reasons, I... I still think I think Covenant has the better overall cast, mm. but I think Aliens Three has the best character in the series, which is Tywin Lannister. Uh, I think he's my favorite guy. Um, but that's kind of really it. Like yeah. the rest of the people are okay. No. What about you, Aaron? What's your number just, one? Just saying no. No. <laughs> no. The no. My number one is the. <laughs> Is aliens aliens by far like there's a huge gap between aliens and the rest of the series? Yeah, in the wrong direction, way wrong direction. <laughs> what this this movie aliens mm-hmm. with the concept of what alien was? So basically, what they did is they said, okay, um, what was what was a major complaint about the first movie? Major complaint was there was good. only one, there was only one alien. So what they did is they took it and uh, they found a way to go to a planet filled with aliens and then have <laughs> this group of Marines fight a bunch of aliens. And uh, it was it, it was I the hangover that, that, two of horror movies. They just did the hard exact. But fair. Well, the thing, well, no, the thing about it though is, it's aliens was not a horror movie at all. It was an action movie. Yeah, uh, it was an action of. movie for the eighties. No, it really was. It, when you when you look at the way that James Cameron talks about this film and the way that if you go into it thinking it's an action movie, you'll probably like it a lot more than thinking that it was supposed to scare you. No, um, I doubt it because there's not that much action. 
the action is they shoot a machine gun and an alien explodes off into the distance. And then they shoot another machine gun and an alien explodes off into the distance. And it's just like, right. It, yeah. And then it, alien slowly kill one, each and every one of them until, you know, we get to the end, which is of course one of the most epic scenes, if not the uh, most epic scene in the entire series when uh, Ripley goes down and to the shaft after newt i thought that was i mean just that whole thing you can see you know they do a good job of showing how many bullets she has in her gun each time she pulls the trigger you know the the fire the flamethrower and then you know it ends with of course bishop being torn to pieces like you know gross was the right? only good thing about that movie yeah and 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 then the whole fight scene with with her and the little robot thing the the box mover yeah the um i mean I, I, the loader the loader yeah yeah the loader i mean the, that whole fight scene was 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 good i mean i just i thought the movie far exceeded the rest of the rest of the series by far yeah to me it was just too slow it wasn't the characters weren't interesting and they it just felt like oh number one was good let's do that again but bigger Let's do that again, but that's, somewhere that's, else. That's the eighties and nineties, bro. That's the eighties and nineties. But that's what I'm saying. This is it's just like the hangover two, where they're just like, let's just do again what worked the first time. And it's just never as good in my opinion. It's just kind of like now pre- uh, to be fair, Predator Two going like, let's do the same thing but somewhere else. Let's do it in the concrete jungle instead. Terrible. Horrible, horrible idea. Yeah. But to me, pred aliens is uh it just was more of the same and it was boring but i gave covenant my number one spot i think it's uh you know it looks the best it has a lot of depth even though it takes a weird turn um into who are the creators and what are they what is the purpose of life and all that stuff like they try to you know really force in this depth and questioning into the series that was never a part of it before this. Um, I do like Michael Fassbender in the role. I do like him, you know, yeah, trying to figure it out. Like a Fassbender. <laughs> um, he, you haven't seen anyone better. I I think the the next movie, if they're gonna make one, with the whole idea of him having two thousand, you know, hosts, embryos, is yeah. kind of an interesting concept. Like to see the alien just kind of take over a world and stuff. But I, I don't, I mean, it's bad, right? Like to be fair, it's all bad. Each movie is not very good. Um, but to me, I want to see an alien versus planet of the apes mashup. There you go. That's the next step. Um, I, it, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I mean, coming down to it, it's just all, it's all bad. And I think Covenant has the most interesting characters, the best looking sets, and it kind of does horror the best out of all of them. Like you kind of feel the most uh, anxious throughout that one. And uh, the other ones, the action just doesn't really pay off because you never really get to see the alien. It's always shot in the dark. It's always, you know, puppets that they can't really show you very much of. And uh, it just doesn't work super well for me. So, so I give Covenant kind of my number one. But, All right. Now, real quick. Yeah. I got to circle back to the Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Yes. Oh, geez. Why? <laughs> the final scene when it shows like the, I don't know, the dude. And he opens up the briefcase and he's talking to that lady. Is she someone important in the series? I have no idea. They, they shoot they it, it like, like it is. Whoa. Look at this. Yeah. This explains everything. She, because she's like, it's not for I'm our like, world. She's someone? And then she, he says her name, and then it's just like, wait. Yeah, I figured with him saying her name specifically, I was like, okay, maybe she's somebody. Yeah, I, but I no didn't idea. care enough to look. <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter. Um, Doesn't but yeah, and that's. I think we're done. I think we did it, guys. Predators, oh, aliens, never have to watch any of these ever again. I mean, unless you want to, but can't see that happening. Oh no, 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 no. But we will be back. Uh, me and Taylor are watching I Heat. I think Taylor should watch Predator 2. I do too. You, I kind of do want to watch back. the Predators series. You'd be disappointed, but, you know. 
I feel very um, I feel very similar emotionally to Alien and Predator. What's better, as, Alien or Predator? Uh Predator is as better. A, as a franchise. Yeah. I think it is, but just barely. Yeah. And it's it's only better because the Predator has intentions where aliens yeah. feel much more like wild animals. Wild. You yeah. know? And so like the Predator's having intention behind what they do makes them a little more scary but just mm-hmm. just a tiny bit <laughs> you know but uh, yeah so we will be back uh with twilight with heat i'm not exactly sure we'll figure it out but uh, thanks for listening guys <laughs>